To be honest, I'm a little undecided because I think it's great that the girls in our sport are so attractive and they're athletes and they rip and I think, like you said, that's really marketable. And girls like Alana Blanchard, they found their niche and she's one of the most popular surfers in the world. You know, if you ask anyone on the beach of what, who's their favorite, favorite surfer, if they know of a women's surfer, it'd probably be Alana Blanchard, you know, and, and that's great. She brings a lot of eyes to our sport. Um, I've definitely been on the opposite side of the spectrum where I've like, Definitely been criticized for my looks like last year and stuff. I, you know, I gained a little bit of weight and, you know, I, I wasn't doing as well on tour and all those kind of things. And you hear comments like, oh, she's had one too many cheeseburgers and it's hurtful, you know. And, but unfortunately, we're in a sport where you're in a bathing suit all the time. So people are going to be looking at your body. And so I think, um, you know, I think I, for me, my whole approach is I just want to be an athlete and I love surfing. And so, and if I'm fit and my body feels good, that's great. To be honest, I don't think I'm ready to be just stop competing and be a free surfer. I think if I was a free surfer and just was like somehow like, okay, I'd, I'd go on great trips and I'd get video clips and that'd be awesome. But as soon as that faded and I like somehow got a glimpse of, oh, like on the computer, the girls were competing, I'd get so like jealous or not jealous, but like fired up and like, oh, I, could, I could be in the heat with those girls, you know? So I definitely think that competitive surfing is my thing right now, for sure. My, probably my week at the US Open was a perfect example. I think in the beginning of the week, probably my first day, before I even surf, I had a couple meltdowns. I actually, like, right after my warm-up surf, I went into the bath uh, bathroom with my shower with my boyfriend, and I was just like, babe, I'm falling apart. I can't do this. Like, I don't know, where's my head's at? It was just like, there's so much stuff going on that week, and like, I want to do well. Like, I really want to do well. And I want it so bad that sometimes, like I said, I focus on the results so much that I just, I forget about where I'm at and at that moment. I think true love is when you can't stop thinking about that person or that thing all day. I mean, I'm madly in love with the ocean. I can't stop thinking about it all day, but I can't stop thinking about my boyfriend either. So, I mean, I think um, that time when you just get so excited just to the thought of them is when you're really in love. I definitely like have realized lately that I'm really afraid of losing the people that I love whether it be like them just like getting mad at me and walking away or you know something happening to them but mostly like I just I can't stand losing the people that really mean a lot to me I'd love to be married and have a family and all that fun stuff and hopefully ch still traveling I, I don't really know I haven't looked that far ahead yet <laughs> Yeah, it taught me so many lessons, you know, how to manage my time well, how to socialize with my friends at school, how to talk to my teachers and communicate. Um, and so, I mean, I liked it too, because in case surfing doesn't work out and I get hurt tomorrow, I have, you know, my high school degree and I can move on to college and get a good job, so. I'd love to do that and, and be a teacher one day. Like, that's my ultimate goal, to be like a second grade teacher. <laughs> that's probably about my level of like, I could do <laughs> crayons and <laughs> puzzles and all that. The key to happiness, um, I think is two things. Uh, well, I think ultimately just one is find what makes you happy and do it and find who makes you happy and be with them. And for me, it's, um, it, you know, if I <laughs> had my boyfriend in my life and we lived in the van for the rest of our lives, but I was totally in love and happy and surfing good ways, I'd be stoked. And, and to me, that's complete success. Yeah. Is that okay? Is there anything?